Thank you. I'm super psyched to be here, especially on National Coming Out Day to celebrate queer culture. And I'd like to give a special thanks to my wife in the audience. It's our anniversary tomorrow, and she's been my biggest supporter all along. So thank you. I'm going to read from my book, Reliant, which is experimental science fiction comprised of tweet-sized tales that individually are no longer than one tweet, but collectively tell a larger tale of a society before, during, and after the apocalypse. So, philosophy. Every day, the robot reminds her to practice gratitude. Every day, she's grateful that she could afford to buy the bot. Soaring, drones surround our helicopter. Now what, you say? Say yes, I reply, producing a ring as the drones move into a heart formation. Paparazzo bot. Swimming under the ocean, under a bright sky, the robot passes an orca pod and keeps spying on a luxury yacht for a celebrity gossip blog. Body mod. She uses an avatar in the forum so he doesn't know what she looks like until their first date. He's still surprised by the unicorn implant. Gratuity. The barbot peels grapes to garnish our cocktails and serves them with a flourish. To you, I toast. It thanks me, pointing to the tip jar. Biggest fan. The girl takes a selfie with the pop star's telepresence robot and goes back to her hospital bed with a print, forgetting her pain. Mobile. Off the grid, on the beach, I forage and trap crabs with a solar charger for my smartphone to post updates for eco-voyeurs. Pets. The adorable baby robot dinosaur roars and chases the kids. Screams and laughs are followed by barks and breaking noises. The dog again. Breathless search. Two drones hover over bushes along a cliff sending video back to the search and rescue team. Still no sign of the mayor's lost glove. Public service announcement. Projecting a 100 by 100 meter image onto the mountain, the park's ad bot reminds hikers not to litter and to file their taxes. <laughs> Robogerontology. Gran listens to the robot that looks like a shiny bunny tea kettle dispensing pills. Time to take your lithium, it says. Integration. A paralyzed boy walks through the park in his ex ex oh, sorry, exoskeleton. He kicks a stray ball back to kids playing soccer. They invite him to join in. Coaching droid. The cute, quirky robot says to lose 10 pounds, work out an hour each day, and stop eating sweets. She learns it can't be turned off. Close supervision. The syringe sinks deep, wispy blood dancing as the chip fits into place. Her son cries under her kiss. It's for school, honey. Inked. The robot tattoos your name over my heart Will you take photos. When you share them, all you talk about is the robo-tattooist. Idlebot. After the girl makes a robot that looks and sings like that chirpy teen idol, parents stop inviting her to playdates with their kids. Prototype. The robot kicks a ball and hops on one foot. People applaud politely, bored. After the diplomatic reception, three roboticists are fired. Curiosity. I lose my micro bikini top diving and send the pool cleaning robot after it. A neighbor sees me and takes off her top, smiling. Rescue. She's falling in love. He's so charming and kind. On date three, she finds out why his sex droid is broken. She runs off, rescuing it, too. Patriobots. 
On Canada Day, we go out for beers and poutine, taking a selfie with a red and white RCMP robot. Please move along, it says. Sorry. <laughs> Famous author. The author signs books remotely with a robotic pen, chatting with fans on video. They want a more personal touch, so she sends in a hug bot. Busbot. A murder of crows surrounds the shiny robot. When it continues to pick up food scraps on the patio, they all attack at once. Bride-to-be. I tell the robot I love it, but it doesn't understand. Undeterred, I shop for a white beaded wedding gown. I love a challenge, too. Tool of the trade. Disguised as a banged up shopping cart, the robot hides the dealer's stash, following him around as he meets with the city's street addicts. Spam filter. He downloads a virus from spam and the system freezes. He doesn't know how to clean it, so he buys a new tablet. Then he opens the same link. <laughs> Nightclub. Dancers grind against each other and vibrating cod pieces sink to the beat. When the DJ plays a ballad, they all boo. Investor. She invests everything in kitty coins and loses big. Trying to sell her condo, she only gets one offer and it's in doge coins. Casino. Robots fight in a cage while people shout their bets. Twisted metal carnage explodes into flames as the housebot wins again. QR code tattoos. We smuggle deep web links into China using QR code temporary tattoos until vacation selfies give us away. Primary lessons. The principal's robo enchantment blinds her to the pitfalls of buying bots to teach first grade her office is overrun with crying kids. Neurosurgery. The telerobotic neurosurgeon operates remotely using a brain scan sent to her phone. Due to a crack in the screen, the patient dies. Practical application. Wearing makeup in an asymmetrical pattern that defies facial recognition biometrics she smuggles nanobots in glitter hairspray. Upgrades. He enters the scanner on a flatbed through a noisy magnetic tube. Brain images reveal several chips. Aha, your upgrades conflict. Hot new trends. Fashion bots walk the runway. Journos and buyers swoon over new clothes. Outside models picket. Had giving away headshots and asking for work. Contemporary music. Concert goers boo the avant-garde tuba playing robot, but it isn't programmed to feel sad or to stop. <laughs> Nuclear crisis. The reactor core explodes and weather patterns aren't in our favor. Malfunctioning detectors, auto-fire, retaliation missiles. The end begins. Marauders. A gang of looters moves noisily past, missing me hiding under a counter. I've got two cans of chickpeas. It's going to be a short life. <laughs> Expendable. The solar bot inspects the damaged reactor, repairing what it can and saving the most dangerous work for low-paid humans. Solar surfers. In the sludge gray skies after the poison falls, solar panels rarely work. When they do, we access what's left of an internet left to die. Swept away. Ominous radioactive clouds reflect in the ocean under the full moon. Kiss me, this is it, I say, and love grows like our cancerous selves. So 
you'll have to read Reliant to find out what happens in the post-apocalypse. But I'm going to read you with one last story, which is a, a little craft that I did in collaboration with a photographer. Her name is Gwen Ross Miller. She and I made these um, photo pendants that each uh, contains a readable tiny tale. This one is called Cure All. So they open up. It's not your strongest, says his patron, and he falls into an abyss of dark shadows and rum until rescued by that probiotic yogurt drink. <laughs> Thank you.